Welcome to the video Arduino Ohmmeter. In this video, we're going to be using the code and the program and some of the setups from the original one called the display where it says hello world. I will place a link for that. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that's how you'll be up to date with all of our new videos we add. So for this one, you will need a 1K resistor, a mystery resistor, a red wire, a green wire, and an orange wire. So let's see how you do the connections. Using an orange wire, connect from the breadboard to A0 on the Arduino. Using a green wire, Make a connection from the breadboard to ground on the Arduino. Now connect a 1K resistor to the green and the orange wire. Now connect a red wire to the positive part of the breadboard to another section of the breadboard, as shown. These are the connections to the Arduino. E0 is the orange wire, ground is the green, red is a 5 volt and black is a ground. Remember that the red wire and the black wire go to the display. You should have three wires on the positive part of the breadboard. The green and the orange wire is the 1K resistor. The orange and the red wire is the mystery resistor. That's how they look when they're connected. Where the orange wire is connected, you should have two resistors joining that connection. So let's modify our code from the display. So let's add some integers. We had an analog pin, which is zero, which ends up being from A zero. We add another integer called raw, R-A-W, make sure that's spelled correctly. And another integer called V-N, which is our voltage in. And then we add an, a float, which is our voltage out, which is zero. And we add another float, which is resistor one, which will be 1000, which is our 1K resistor. And we add another float, which you need to capitalize, it's R2. And that we initialize it as zero. And we add another float, which is the buffer, which we will declare that as zero to start that variable. So now let's reorganize what we have for the loop. We need to put a gigantic if statement in the loop. So make sure, like I said, it says R-A-W roll is equal to that analog pin. We're going to read it, A0. And we're going to put the if statement. So if that raw is true or generates a value, do the following. So now let's identify some equations and I'm going to post this code on the website and in the comments. So check out the comment and you will see the code. 
you can see this equation where we are identifying what V out is. So now we are getting the value of what R2 will be. So I'm going to copy and paste the outputs, those things for the display in there. And I would delete the other ones. So let's modify these. where it begins at R0. I'm going to put the voltage, what the voltage out will be after that resistor is put in line. So that is saying in the seventh spot after V out on the same line, it's going to print the variable. It's going to display that variable V out. So now using the same pattern as you see on the top, let's type it in. We're setting the cursor for the second row. Remember it starts at zero, then goes to one. And now we're going to print what the value would be for R2. And we're setting the cursor again. So it's a little bit past where it says R2 and displays the variable right after that. So now we put a delay. We send this to the Arduino. To review, this is the unknown resistor location, and this is the 1K resistor location. Now the display will display this, and I put a 10K resistor in that location, and the answer came out to around 10,377, so that is a 10K resistor. Remember, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell which is important to keep track of all the videos and all the lessons coming up remember keep on learning i hope you enjoyed the video